Okay. Are you ready? Coffee! A pasticceria is a pastry shop. Okay. Coffee! <laughs> Never take cappuccino after 11 a.m. Never. Italian breakfast, it's simple, but for those coming from the outside, it may seem complex. It's not the noodles of the east or the cornflakes of the west. It's a sugar, caffeine fueled Ferrari revving as early as 6 a.m. on every town's corner. This morning, here in Italy, I'll show you how it works. And at the end of the video, I'll explain how you get into the secret society that goes by the simple code word breakfast. Where to go for breakfast? breakfast when you're here in Italy. Well, think bars or pasticcerie. Don't confuse bar with what you normally think of in other countries like the United States. In Italy, bar means coffee, food, alcohol, life. They're open as early as 6 a.m. and close as late as midnight. You could get a cocktail at 7 a.m. or a cappuccino at 11 p.m., but I don't recommend either one of those. Unlike pasticcerie, Bars, they don't make their own sweets, their own croissants, their own cornettos. They usually get them from a nearby pastry shop or further away from a wholesale bakery. A pasticceria, that's a pastry shop, and many of them also serve coffee and have tables to set down inside. You'll find little treats, little cakes, but also cornettos, the Italian version of a croissant. It's like getting your drugs directly from the fields where they're grown instead of from a dealer, which in this case is the aforementioned bar. The drugs we're dealing with today, well, those are the sweet and buttery cornettos. Due cappuccini, sì. un brioche con marmalata sì. e uno spermoluta. Now, insider pro tip, if you want to pay less, especially in a main square or near an important monument in Italy, make sure you take your cappuccino or cafe at the bar, al banco, instead of sitting down here at a table, you're going to pay a bit of a service charge when you take a table. Here we have the cappuccino and this is the piece de resistance and the cornetto, which is frankly looking kind of sad this morning. Spermuta means juice. Spermuta di arancia, that would be orange juice. Here we are. I'll break down the coffees you should try when you're here in Italy, which types of coffees you should order, but let's talk about Italy's biggest debate. Cornetto versus brioche. What do you call this thing right here? Well, brioche is used mostly in the north. All around Italy, they go by the word cornetto to describe this thing right here. What separates this from its French counterpart, its French cousin? Well, this includes egg in its ingredients, and it's not as buttery and and it's not as buttery and baked on a buttery, uh, crispy crust. Flaky. I thought I said flaky. And it's not as buttery and crunchy and flaky as the croissant up in France. Egg yolk is brushed on top of it to give it that golden color during baking. Now, which type of cornettos will you typically find in a bar? Well, you can get plain, that's quite boring, with nothing on the inside. You can get a a la marmalada, which is what I got here today with jam filling. You can get a a la crema, which is a custard on the inside. Chocolato, which is typically Nutella. You'll need to ask and find out. Or you can get simple variants like the Integrale, which is a whole wheat pastry, cornetto, honey on the inside, and of course there's others like pistachio. In a pasticceria, you'll also find little cakes and little treats as well, but I'm doing OG Italian today, straight up cornetto. Now if you're hungry, there's no shame in ordering a second cornetto to go along with your cappuccino. No shame at all. Also, remember the orange juice, the spermuta? Oh, perfect. This is great if you want to power up, get ready for the sightseeing during the day, or if you're recovering from a late night, the night before, a night of feasting. Get a spermuta to go along with your cappuccino and the cornetto. We watch all your videos. Yes. Okay, great, thank you. Now what's great about the spermuta is that most of the coffee bars will have their own orange squeezy machine. So this stuff is fresh and it's cheap. Now 
Now a lot of this whining and dining stuff is broken down in my e-guide that you can download down below. And stick with me because at the end of the video I'll explain how inexpensive all of this goodness is. And of course we'll go into how you're gonna order a coffee when you're at the bars. Well, it's simple. You just go in, ask for your coffee, ask for your Cornetto, point out which one you want, and enjoy. If you have to pay first, they'll tell you. We're here at Cafe Paskowski, and at this place, you need to pay first, get a receipt, and then go over to the bar. Cappuccino e un brioche al cioccolato. Grazie. Italian breakfast, it's fast, it's furious. When you're at the bar, you squeeze yourself up into the counter, get your little spot. Now Italians, they slam down their cappuccino, they eat their cornetto so quickly, and then they rush off to work. Today's Sunday, so things, well, you won't believe me, but things are a little bit calmer today. Antonino Ferrante, nostro boss, Antonino. Coffee is as Italian as gondolas and Ferraris. To drink a coffee in a local bar is embracing art and culture. The bar experience, well, it's a bond that ties together decades of art, post-war industrialization, and indeed tourism. In a bar like this, enjoying a coffee, you're gonna learn much more about the country than you would in any guidebook. To dip or not to dip, well, there are two schools of thought. One's the right way, and the other way is dunking pastry into a small coffee cup and destroying a perfectly good cappuccino. For the sake of discussion, I'm doing it. And if you must do it, you should know the term. It's called inzupare. Let's talk coffee choices when you get into the Italian bar. What are you gonna order? Well, you can order the straight up espresso, cafe espresso, but only serial killers order that at 8 a.m. in the morning. Do it if you want. My preferred go-to is the cappuccino, a shot of espresso with the sweet, frothy milk on top. If you see them spooning out the milk from the pitcher onto the cappuccino, uh, just look the other way. Then there's the cross between the two, Cafe Macchiato. That's a cafe a shot of espresso marked with a little bit of froth milk, macchiato. That's saying, hey, I'm a serial killer, but don't hate me. Then there's the macatone, and that's the gray area between a cappuccino and a cafe macchiato. Ciao! Other drinks you might find, latte macchiato. That's a glass of milk, warm milk, where they pour a shot of espresso into it. It's good. Try it. It'd be similar to what you call a latte in the United States. Don't make the mistake of ordering a latte when you're in Italy. I think all of us have done that at one point. You're not going to get a caffeine type drink. You're going to get just a straight up glass of milk and you probably don't want that. Forget cold brews. Forget flat whites. You're not going to find them here. Italy is the OG coffee hipster. Okay, yeah, true. There are little coffee shops opening up here across the boot where you may find them, but typically you won't. Oh man, two cappuccinos, two cornettos. I'm busting at the seams. What's your coffee routine in the morning? No, we're not going to Starbucks today. Do most Italians have coffee at the bars for breakfast? Well, a lot of them take it at home, but a lot of them also take it at the bars because it's so inexpensive. <laughs> You may find yourself wanting to drink more coffee at breakfast, but think your head will just spin off what to do. Well, we're gonna get into the dark arts of Italian coffee culture. First, if you're enjoying this video so far, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. I know a lot of you aren't yet subscribed and it just helps this channel get out to a wider audience. Now, the great thing in Italy, there's no shortage of cafe coffee bars. They're on every corner. Look for a bar sign, a bar tabaccaria, a bar pasticceria. You'll get your fix in all those places. Jenny, where are we going? It's a really close station. Well, let's go. Andiamo. Andiamo. If you had too much coffee or just don't drink it for some odd reason, order a decaffeinato. Un cafe decaffeinato. Un cappuccino di cappinato per favore? Oh no, un caffè d'orzo. Get your ticket, 
and order it down with our gratte, un cappuccino d'orzo, and un cafe ginseng. It's not too bad. Ginseng, yeah, it, it's a root. It tastes pretty good. Cappuccino d'orzo, it's what Italian mothers give to their children when they're growing up, but it's a perfect decaffeinated option. It's also a gateway drug for those little children. It gets them drinking cappuccino style coffees early on and then oh, the whole world opens up and that's what we're drinking today. Italians do have breakfast at home, don't they? Yeah, we do. We do have uh, but it's a sad affair to be honest. Uh, it, depends. The, it depends. But the best thing about it is the little Villetti mocha pot. You of pour course. the espresso. Right, right. We have everybody with the mocha. The mocha. It centers around plastic wrap pastries, uh, either Kinder or Mulino Bianco. Mulino Bianco, they make this one type of bread that's double baked. It looks like cardboard. It's called fette dorate. Fette dorate, have you had those? Sorry, what? The fette dorate? Fette dorate, yes, it's the fette biscottate. You spread jam or Nutella on those. You bite into them and crumbs go everywhere. With that, you're pouring your mocha pot espresso into a cup and you're thinking, today is gonna be a great day. Yes, Italians do have cereal at home or at the stores, but basically it's corn flakes or cocoa flakes. It's not great. What do you have for breakfast? Now keep in mind, tons of this stuff and other items as well are covered in my regular email newsletter that I'm putting out, like the Cornetto Brioche debate. There's a link to sign up down below. Also, consider becoming a channel member. You get early preview viewings of my videos before they're out to the general public. You get customized you get customized emoji icons that go with all your comments that change colors the longer you're a member. The cost of all this goodness today, well, not that much. First one was the big ticket item. That was 25 euro and for that we had a cappuccino a orange juice and a cornetto and my friend had a cappuccino as well 25 but keep in mind you're paying that fee when you sit down at the table at the bar that would have only cost us five euro so 25 at the first location and the second and third location that was around four euro at each place so overall maybe only 32 euro in total with the expensive early sit down at Geely great goodness at low cost. I definitely think you should deep dive into the Italian cappuccino cornetto culture when you're here in Italy. Now, if you want to know why you should consider and perhaps go to a Starbucks when you're in Italy, watch this video.